what's up guys, Neely here from Next Gen Tactics, and in my last Medal of Honor video, I did Garmzier Town as well. I, it was like a 54 and 4 game or something along the lines of that, and I posted that up a couple days ago, and you guys uh, got to watch that. And as you can tell here, this is another match on Garmzier Town. We're going to call this part 2, because I'm going to talk a little more in depth about... A certain little kill streak that you can get if you get to it, and that is the cruise missile. It is the probably most sought at uh, thing in this game, sort of like the nuke in Modern Warfare 2. Uh, do I think that the nuke in Modern Warfare 2 was harder to get? Uh, you know, you could be the judge either way. I mean, you know, the kill streaks in Modern Warfare 2 also add up like they do in Medal of Honor, so really it's up to debate. Does it take some skill to get up to the cruise missile? Sure, it does. Does it take some luck? Sure, it does. But uh, there are some things to help you that I'm going to talk about, or some tips I can give you. Uh, like, say you're having trouble getting the cruise missile, or say you're having trouble getting high up into the score train, and you're trying to look for ways to improve that. I'll talk about that as this game rolls along. So this will be my video to you guys where I discuss sort of what to do when you do get up the score chain, and how to not panic, and how to make the best out of your situation. Uh, basically here on Garmser Town, uh, I talked about in my previous video here on this map at how you need to push up and you need to hold a perimeter uh, because, you know, in Team Assault, the goal is, in my opinion, to absolutely rape their spawn and get as many kills as possible. That's the goal. This isn't domination. This isn't objective, you know, it's not objective rape it's, or what I meant with sector controls. It's none of that. This is getting purely kills, and to me, the objective is to spawn camp and, you know, rack up the kills, or that's what I'm doing. And right here, you guys can see... I did push up, and I'm going to make use of this cover that's my best friend here. These four or five blocks or sandbags. I don't really know what the hell they are. They're some weird-looking things. I don't know. We'll just call them sandbags. <laughs> and I, I take them as cover here. And uh, I guess the first tip I can offer you guys is, and it's obvious, yes, but make use of cover. And, you know, that's one of the hardest things to figure out on maps, and it takes experience to learn what are the best areas to take cover in and not only do you want to take cover basically when you're getting shot at obviously but you also want to do it to ensure that you don't get shot and so you could see here I know that we have them sort of backed up already I could tell because immediately at the start of this game these guys weren't pushing up you could tell I mean even look on the right hand side where I just shot typically teams are way up on that right hand side into the back right building but here, no dice. They're completely oblivious. They're completely dumb. They don't push up. So, of course, myself and my team included, we're going to feast on that. So, we do, and we push up here. And I know that this spot that I'm in here with this cover is a great place to watch them coming out of their spawn. Do I not move a lot out of this cover? No, I don't. And maybe you guys could say, oh, well, maybe if you moved a little bit more, maybe you would even had more success. That is true, but at the same time here, guys, I didn't really know where these guys were coming from. I was uh, doing a lot of chat on my mic during this game, asking my teammates, I said, where the hell are these guys? Because typically I'm used to these guys coming down this bridge where I'm shooting at right now and where I'm pointing this uh, mortar strike. But these guys weren't coming down, and they weren't even really coming on the right where I just looked there for a brief second. And so I was... I, needless to say, I was confused, guys. I was I was a little baffled where these guys were, were coming from. So I think that's tip number two for you guys to take. And really lucky right there that I didn't die. Thank, thank you. Uh, just make the sign of the cross on that one. <laughs> you know, just woo! That was lucky. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, another tip I can give you guys is to be aware, be aware of where your enemies are coming from. Not only do you need to take cover to avoid from getting shot, you also need to be aware of where your enemies are. And again, this comes with experience of playing on these maps. You need to know where the spawns are, you need to look at your mini-map and your radar, and you need to know when spawns switch and, you know, where people are firing from. So if you can look at your, your mini-map here in this top left-hand corner, you can definitely gauge or have a sense of idea where the guys are coming from. Now, if if you're asking yourself, well, what happens if they're not coming up on the mini-map? What happens if they're not rushing or coming out of their spawn? Well, then, you need to make the best of your ability of your mic communications. Uh, like I said, it, when I was playing this game, guys, I was constantly on the mic. I had no idea where some of these guys were coming from. I figured they were in their spawn, but it's like, well, should you push up and risk getting killed, or should you kind of stay back and wait and be patient and play smart? And in turn, that's what I chose to do in this game. And so it worked out for me because I was able to get the cruise missile. So I don't think there's any denying that. 
Uh, secondly, this game's sound is one of the best in the industry right now. So I really recommend you have a headset when you play these games, but if you don't, if you don't have the money to buy one, you need to make use of what what you have as a, as a TV set or surround sound, whatever you have. This game, the sounds in Medal of Honor, you can really gauge where everyone is at by listening to the game. And uh, you can do that by slowing down the game for yourself and getting in cover and just listening, you know. Listen to where fire, you know, gunfire is coming from. Listen to sort of like uh, enemy chatter. Listen to even the chatter of your teammates and what they're saying. So if you can do that, guys, it's really going to help you. And secondly here is I unleashed a cruise missile. It's quite fun to watch. I believe I killed the whole team as well. And then just a huge explosion, which is awesome to watch. I love doing it. It's so gratifying. It, it, it you know, it doesn't, is it as great to look at, is it as great to look at as the nuke of Modern Warfare 2? I don't know. I mean, it's up to interpretation. I like it more because I am guiding it in, and I think it's just a hell of a lot of fun to do, but, um, back to my point here is the fact that, you know, guys, it's just really playing smart, and in this instance, I'm probably really going to get flamed for not moving up a lot here and utilizing this cover, but in the end, guys, it worked, and, you know, if you want to argue that fact, you can, but at the end of the day, I think I'll take a 50-1 and one any day of the week, you know, if, if teams are going to be dumb and they're going to allow themselves to get spawn trapped and rush out of obvious spots and not rush up and try to aggressively beat my team, well, I'm going to eat that like it's Thanksgiving dinner, and I love Thanksgiving dinner, so... I'll gobble that up all day long. And I was just talking about Thanksgiving dinner today to a friend, and I'm looking forward to it. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, guys, take advantage of your opponent's dumbness. You know, be smart. Use the sound in the game to your advantage. Always talk to your teammates. Use cover. And if you can do that and have patience, you should have no problem getting up that score chain in Medal of Honor. And, um... That's really all I could say. I will follow this up with more thoughts. I want to give you guys my opinions of the new down or the new patch that just got enforced, and it's really fixed this game. It's snipers are no longer one shots, and uh, this game is running really smooth right now. So I'll leave it at that. I got more future videos coming. Go ahead and click on the link in the description of this video. That is the link to my channel. I have two other cruise missile games that you guys are gonna definitely want to come over and check out. So come on over to my channel, check me out. Uh, you can see a bunch of videos I have. I got some new Vegas footage coming and even more Medal of Honor. So uh, go ahead and make use of the link in the description. So that's all I have to say. Hopefully you guys learned some things. Uh, again, I know my tips and tactics were a little obvious, but sometimes it is the obvious things that slip our minds when we play shooters. So uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Uh, look forward to a couple of my other videos, guys. You guys take care and I will see you. Hey guys, we're on Facebook. Check the description of this video for the link to our new Facebook application. Subscribe and get our latest video updates posted right on the wall on your own Facebook page.